Unit 2, uh, Lesson uh, 7, Problem Set 3 here, uh, is what's the equation? Uh, and what we're asked to do is write a possible equation for a polynomial whose graph has the following horizontal intercepts. And then you're asked to check your equation using graphing technology. Uh, so number one, uh, I notice I have only one single horizontal intercept. Uh, I just want to make sure we talk about the fact that a horizontal intercept, that's just a fancy way to ask for the x-intercepts. Okay, so the horizontal axis is the x-axis. So when we're looking for the horizontal intercepts, we're just looking at the x-intercepts. So here's uh, number one, our first one has an x-intercept of four. So these types of problems, actually, all we're doing is we are working backwards. Here we have the intercepts. We're looking for the function. Before we gave you the function, we were looking for the intercepts. Uh, when we work backwards, uh, what I like to uh, have students do is just go, f instead of working from the top down, let's work from the bottom up. So I know that my x-intercept is 4, 0. That means that my x must have been equal to, to, not 0, must have been equal to 4. So what I need to think about is what factor did I set equal to 0 to give me an x equal to 4. So moving backwards, I see that this is x minus 4 would equal 0. So then the factor would be x minus 4. So my function is the function uh, x minus 4. Now, we want to check this with graphing technology. So we'll open up our grapher and we'll put in uh, the function x minus 4, hit graph, and there it is. Notice I have a, uh, an x-intercept of positive 4. Moving on, uh, the only difference down here is we have the 0, comma 0 as well. Okay, so this 4, 0, moving upward, we're going to get a factor of x minus 4 in here. Okay, just like number 1. But this one, notice I have an x is equal to 0. And if x is equal to 0, well, notice there's my other factor. So I can just put the x out in front. Now my new function we'll call this function h of x is equal to x times the quantity x minus 4 and we're asked to check that with graphing technology so we'll come over here and we will put in x times this x minus 4 hit graph and notice I have x-intercepts at uh, 0 and at positive 4. On to number 3. Uh, really the only difference here, I see that I have this 0, 0, this uh, 4, 0. So I know that I'm going to have the x and the x minus 4 involved. But... I do have something different here. It's the negative 2, 0. So we'll come over here and we'll set the uh, negative 2, comma 0. That means x is equal to negative 2. That means I must have had a factor of x plus 2 set equal to 0. So then uh, I can just put an x plus 2 on the end of this function. So we'll call this new function, uh, 
I don't know, we'll call it T of X. Uh, let's move over here. We'll call this function T of X, and that's going to be equal to the X times the X minus 4, just like before. But now I have this new factor of X plus 2. So this should be a pretty decent function to give us those x-intercepts. Let's check it with our graphing technology. Back to the y equals. Notice all I have to do is go to the end here and put in my new function, uh, my new factor of x plus 2. And if I hit graph, notice I have an x-intercept at negative 2, an x-intercept at 0, and an x-intercept at positive 4. Then we have this next function. Uh, really, what's the only difference here? Well, I notice that in this uh, this x-intercept is positive 2, 0. Well, if the x-intercept and up here in number 3 of negative 2, 0 gave us an x plus 2 as a factor, what would the uh, x-intercept of positive 2, 0 give us as a factor? So we'll call this one uh, p of x. And I know I'm going to have the initial x just like numbers uh, 2 and 3. And I'm going to have the x minus 4. But the only difference I'm guessing is this should be, instead of a x plus 2, uh, it should be an x minus 2. But let's just make sure. So I have an x equals 2. That means that I must have had x minus 2 set equal to 0, which means my factor was x minus 2. And there it is. Let's check it with graphing technology again. The only difference was instead of an x plus 2, I had an x minus 2. If I graph that, let's look at our x-intercepts. There's an x-intercept at 0 an x-intercept at positive 2, and an x-intercept at positive 4. Okay, and the last one here, uh, now we have three zeros. Uh, we'll probably have to just go ahead and do all three of them. Uh, so I have an x-intercept of negative 5, 0. I have an x-intercept of 1 half. 0, and I have an x-intercept of 3, 0. Uh, this first one, uh, I have x equals negative 5, so then the factor x plus 5 must have been set equal to 0, so then my first factor is x plus 5. This next one, I have x is equal to 1 half. So uh, this one's a little bit different. Notice that I must have had to divide by 2. So if I had to divide by 2, at some point I must have had 2 times x is equal to 1. which means my factor of 2x minus 1 must have been equal to 0. So this factor is a 2x minus 1. Last but not least, I have x is equal to 3. So then x minus 3 must have been the factor. So my factor is x minus 3. So now if I look at this function, and we'll call this function, uh, did we do s? 
of x yet? I don't think so. Uh, this function should be x plus 5 times the quantity 2x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 3. Now, what I want to do is, uh, let's take a look at this middle one. I could just have easily said that my factor was x minus 1 half. And I could have put an x minus 1 half in here, uh, but it's just a little more fancy to not have any rational constants, don't have any fraction constants. That way, when we're looking for our y-intercept, we wouldn't have to multiply 5 by 1 half. Okay, we would we can just do five times one, uh, five times negative one times negative three. So it's usually a little more uh, desirable to have uh, whole number coefficients and constants. So this, I believe, is what my function should look like. So if we go to my graphing calculator again, and we want to put this function in, it is uh, x plus five. times 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 go ahead and hit graph and let's take a look at our zeros this first zero is at negative 5 that's good this next zero is at one half that's good and this last one is at positive three so this must be a good representation uh, a good function for those x-intercepts